The city of Reno is beginning its next stage of growth and opportunity. How can the biggest little city prepare for this growth while still maintaining the quality of life its residents love so much? I met with Mayor Hillary Sheevy to find out what she sees as some of the biggest challenges that face Reno's growing community and how the city is working to tackle these challenges. Reno is one of those cities that's really remarkable and obviously in the last four years we've really rebranded our image and really um, changed so much of I think the, the national perception of Absolutely. Reno, right? Four years ago, it was about rebranding Reno and really showing some of the highlights that a lot of people had no idea that existed, like our incredible backyard that is just, it's one of the best in the country. And also the quality of life here is absolutely phenomenal and it's affordable. And the people here are incredibly kind and compassionate and they're very involved in their community, right? So we really went out there on a national level and told this different story about Reno. But now, looking at the next four years, I think, you know, we um, have had a lot of success and with success comes challenges, right? Absolutely. So the next stage for Reno is really to focus back on the quality of life and for the reasons that people live and love this place. And that is affordable housing, it's homelessness, it's infrastructure, and all the things that happen when you have a growing city. But at the same time, we have to remember that we have to provide a great quality of life because that's why we all live here. You know, right outside my window is the Truckee River. And it's an incredible, incredible asset for our city. And it's something that I really want to see evolve into an economic development driver, but also for recreation, to preserve its beauty. And it's our drinking water. Right. A lot of people forget that. And I think that we have not done a great job taking care of it. And so for me, that's going to be one of my big initiatives is really working on how do we make the river such a huge asset in our city? Because how many cities don't, they don't get this kind of asset, right? And so I wanna really make sure that it's a place where um, river enthusiasts are coming and bicyclists and runners and, and preserving our water quality and you know, they are really big economic drivers if you go to different different cities that have incredible river projects and river walks and not, I mean, ours is, you know, it's getting there, but I'd love to see it be for miles and miles and miles. So that's one of the things, but also quality of life issues and those are, you know, having a place that people can afford to live. And that's doing more private and public partnerships with developers and having affordable housing for all and inclusionary zoning. I think those things are really, really important, but also services for everyone that lives here. And that's if, you know, if you are homeless or if you do have mental health issues or if you have an opioid addiction and making sure that we are providing um, a, a quality of life that is important to to the community as a whole, to keep us healthy as a whole, right? Absolutely. So it's really interesting to see what my job was, you know, four years ago to what my job is, you know, looking forward. It really does seem like over the last four years, we've brought so much technology, innovation that has come to this area. And what I think what's great about Reno is you're getting ahead of that. We understand now with that comes some homeless issues, with that exactly. comes affordability and housing, and it truly seems like the city is trying to get ahead of that as quickly as possible because yeah. the growth did happen so quickly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Companies like Tesla, Switch, Amazon, Apple, Google, you know, every big name you could think of, they were attracted to this region for a very good reason, right? right? Obviously, you know, companies of that magnitude don't just decide, hey, I think I'll land there. They look at um, strategically where some of the best places for them, A, is to do business, where they're going to find a great workforce, where they're going to find very community-oriented partners, and that's Reno. And we've really diversified from gaming. And again, to your point, like you said, we have to focus a little bit differently because we are growing. So right. now we got to take care of the people that live here because before it was about providing jobs. We were the highest in foreclosures and unemployment. And everyone kept saying to me, Mayor Shivi, Mayor Shivi, I'm losing my job. So that's a big piece of it is that we had to focus on the economic development side of it. And now that we finally have got that down, obviously along with um, the um, state of Nevada and what the governor's done to bring in economic development and jobs, it's paid off. But at the same time, we have to be able to balance it looking at the future 
of the quality of life in the city that we love and live. After meeting with Mayor Shivi, I was excited about the possibilities, but I still had a lot of questions. The crew and I decided to go out and talk to some of the people Mayor Shivi has been working with to make Reno a better place. One of the things that the city is looking into that will improve the quality of life along the Truckee River is installing restrooms. To find out more about this, I met with Christy from Keep Truckee Meadows exactly. Beautiful. Uh, through our partnership with the One Truckee River Initiative, we've discovered that there are nine different locations in which we need to install restrooms. So this would allow for people to come out and recreate along the river, bike along the river, enjoy the river, and be able to alleviate themselves. Right, and I would also <laughs> say cleaner river. Exactly. Well, because what's happening right now is, you know, people who are living along the river um, have no place to go, so therefore they're going along the river, which is the source of our water supply. And also people who are recreating along the river, they don't have any place to go. And so I've, I have heard, and these are good people, decent people who've had to alleviate themselves along the river behind a tree because there was no other alternative. So we need to fix that. I mean, you know, if any, I feel like, you know, if any other community in this nation had the opportunity to have the pristine waters of Lake Tahoe flowing through its town, they would be doing something different than what we've been doing the last 30, 40 years. I have always <laughs> felt like there was a disconnect between the river and the community. Whereas yes. now there really seems to be this, hey, this is a beautiful area. We need to take advantage of it. Let's show the world what we can do with this pristine Truckee River. Exactly. I, we, this is such an economic development opportunity as far as tourism and just local residents being able to come down and recreate and enjoy and have a good time because it's beautiful down here. There was We've got river otters. We've got wildlife and beautiful scenery to come out and enjoy. We just don't have the amenities to provide the services for people to come do that. And that's my next thing is how can we continue to keep the Truckee clean and usable. Yeah, so you know, it's coming out and doing things like volunteering, making sure you pack out what you pack in, being aware of things like that, uh, preventing trash before it spreads, and also just reminding local elected officials that the river is something that we care about and that, yeah, we want to see investments in amenities along the river, like restrooms and hydration stations, benches, you know, r bike repair stations. I mean, the more people that we have, c have coming down here and, and recreating down here, the safer it's going to be. Well, I'm looking forward to the next stage of yeah. a revitalized awesome. river, a beautiful community that mm -hmm. we can really take advantage of the pristine river that we love so much. Me too. The other major challenge facing the city of Reno is homelessness. To find out more about what the city is doing to solve the homeless problem, I met up with Pat Cashel at the site of a promising new homeless project. Formerly the Northern Nevada Adult Mental Health Services, located just east of downtown Reno. So out here we're going to have a, um, uh, an actual daycare center and a playground and there's grass and I mean look around it's beautiful it and is. so it's um, so yeah so you'll have all kinds of stuff out here for the women and and the kids to uh, to work on themselves and improve their lives and it's a safer environment too well and it seems like so. this environment is also it doesn't point out you're homeless yeah no some of the buildings here that I've toured are beautiful I mean they're they'll get their own rooms um, right now like the women's shelter is just one big uh, dormitory with 50 bunk beds or 25 bunk beds but 50 beds overall out here you're gonna have your own individual rooms and um, your own little place and uh, you'll be able to roam the campus and stuff like that and it's nice and the next stage beyond that is rehabilitation and really working with them to yeah well and there's all kinds of uh, different programs we can start out here like there's a commercial kitchen and what VOA does in Sacramento with their commercial kitchen is actually have classes so you can uh, learn to cook and actually serve meals and uh, learn to work in a restaurant is the way they did it so they have like a culinary school and so out here they have a, a, a commercial kitchen and we'll be able to you know hopefully turn make and make a program out of it and have a culinary school and as I don't know how many acres this is but it's big and so maybe we could start um, a landscaping uh, class and teach people how to you know work in a landscaping environment and stuff like that so it's really there's all kinds of opportunity it's huge it's really a huge opportunity Reno has its fair share of problems not unlike any other major city in America but we're happy to see that with hard work from various community partners and individuals who care, the city is transforming and entering into its next stage.